Hi, um, today I'm going to talk about how to scrape data from PDF report in R. So as a data analyst, I always uh, receive lots of PDF report as a, uh, and I, I'm always asked to uh, to uh, to scrape data from those report and also and later then uh, push it to Tableau to create a visualization to to show it to the leadership. So, uh, but uh, actually, uh, I find uh, for this kind of uh, request, I sometimes find it very difficult because of the unique structure and the format in the PDF uh, report. But uh, uh, but for most of my project, and uh, I find this a uh, powerful tool or library in 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 in, in R, uh, which I want to talk about how to uh, use this. Uh, actually this library PDF tools to scrape data from a PDF report and also this is an internal training material for one of my projects called uh, Vision Quality and Accountability Scorecard uh, but I'm not showing any data in this video I'm just going to show how, uh, the codes and I'm not I'm also not going to run I'm just going to explain about explain what my codes are doing here so uh, so uh, that's uh, I'm going to that's I'm going to show you uh, how to uh, script the PDF report in R. Okay, so first of all, you can load um, these two library, and uh, the core is this uh, PDF tools, and then you use the PDF text uh, function uh, to read in the PDF file, and uh, so uh, and also for for the for for the Q and A um, scorecard. Which is another, which is a PDF report. I also need some setting, so I, uh, yeah, and uh, I will come back to this for for the for the train uh, for 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 the project for the internal training. But now I'm just going to go over how to script the PDF. So um, uh, reading the PDF file first, and then that will give that will return a list actually, and each element in in that list is actually the data in on each page. So let's say if you have a have a thirty page PDF report, then after you reading it, you will you will very likely to get a, a a list that has thirty elements in it, and each element is all the text on that specific page. Okay. So first of all, uh, I will just need to uh, split the strings by a specific separator. So you can see that this is a, a backward slash r backward slash n. So for each of uh, so and, and now as you can see I'm also I'm also only looking at the first page so that's the first element in the file in, in, in the object that I just read that I read in, in, in R so if I do the string split on this pattern that means on so for each page uh, for each row uh, I mean I mean as a I mean as either a paragraph or a table or something each row that uh, on the on the first page um, I'm, I'm separating uh, by this separator. So basically, when, uh, so for at least for my PDF file, uh, when a row begin, when, when one row started and then and then and then it ends, it will it will have uh, this separator. So whenever you split by this separator, that means you you break down your elements, one entire string or either one elements in in the, in the list into different into into different number of of uh, of row. So let's say for a first page you have uh, let, let's say 20, 20 rows of text or twenty rows of a, uh, of uh, anything, and then when you do the string split, you are basically just break down your 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 uh, your page one into twenty elements in another list. Okay, so here I do an unlist, basically just converting into 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 a vector or into into a, into other format. So that will give you all the row, all the text in each row, uh, on the page one. Okay. So after that, basically, base, uh, and then after that, basically, just the the basic uh, uh, text mining uh, technique. Basically, just uh, you just uh, do some different text manipulation, and then just assign uh, which value where do you want to put uh, value. Um, okay. So uh, basically, that is basically how you you read our uh, PDF file, and then how um, how you um, how you um, organize the organize the, the PDF file and and the rest is just basically just the text mining okay so now I'm going to talk about um, the uh, specifically for my project okay so after I break down uh, each row 
for my page one for the content on page one, and here I'm just extracting the specific uh, elements more like uh, more specifically just the these rows that I'm interesting. So these rows, these seven rows, have uh, the data that I need for my for my for my project, and uh, for or, or uh, basically, basically, I'm I'm trying I'm I'm going to convert that into a CSV file so that I can push to Tableau later. So let's see. So for example, these seven rows have the data that I need uh, to create a table. So I extracting. So I sub uh, subset these um uh, these seven rows, and then I create a placeholder, and then basically just uh, basic text mining stuff that I just inserting uh, different different uh, things into 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 this placeholder, and and then generate. Uh, uh, a data frame, and then also uh, uh, change the column name, and finally output uh, to a CSV file. Okay. So same thing for the rest. So uh, I already remove uh, lots of things in here. So uh, my if for for the for for my uh, for the people who is working on this project, uh, please uh, you can open the you can open my original R codes, and then you will find you you under you will have uh, you will know. Um, uh, um, like you have you have more detail on 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 this project, so basically it just uh so the the the, the main I, the main idea is that uh, to extract the uh, the the specific role that that you want to convert into the table, and then uh, uh over here it's just mostly doing the um uh, uh cleaning and the extraction for uh for, let's say for the score and rank. That, that's in, in over here just uh, all the all the score is in the even odd number of the of the data and all the rank is in the even number of the rows and then create placeholder and then uh, input all the all the all the data into into the corresponding location and everything else is basically the same thing it just uh I'm doing on the let's say page four and then doing on page five and then uh, and then also make sure that you 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 change your outer the row number correspondingly because as you can see here not uh eat the data on each page is fall under different row number so that's the the complicated part for for scraping a pdf file okay so make sure you 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 really need to manually alter these row number in order to get the data that you really want because the data that is, is doesn't fall under the same row number on each page of your PDF report. Okay. So basically, I'm just doing the same thing, the same, well, not, not, not literally the same thing, but the same concept for scraping on each page, on page 8, page 9, page 10. And then finally, uh, over here, I, I also have a... Um, there are different tables in this PDF report, so it requires different special treatment on this. So, uh, and then uh, for over here, I just come. So for the for the major part of the PDF report, finally uh, combine them together, update uh, update the column names, and then output as a CSV file. And also for the last page of the of that PDF report, um, uh, extract the uh, those rows, and then uh, and then and then uh, insert them into the placeholder. So uh, basically, these are just the very typical uh, text uh, mining stuff. Okay. So if you're interesting, if, if you are, uh, if you're interesting in those topics, I, I also have another video on the text mining part. But basically, this project is just uh, reading PDF and then uh, scraping the PDF, create a CSV file, and then um, and then uh, and then push it to the SQL tape to the SQL server, and then uh, the Tableau will, will pick it up from there, and then and then refresh the dashboard. Okay, so here I and then now I'm just going to talk about some some detail but very important st uh, um, setting for 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 before you you uh, doing the extraction so first of all when you're reading a PDF file make sure um, you do it uh, do it uh, line by line so that you can you can manually in, so read read the file and then and then um, just show uh, just take a look at the at the at the at the text on this page and then manually alter this row number to make sure you get the data that on these rows that is uh that the that um, um the, the data that you want okay okay that's that and okay 
and when whenever you open this file, and um, you will very likely to to encounter, um, you will actually see um, three question mark here. So make sure you convert, um, you open this file, uh, go into the PDF report, and then copy paste the arrow icon, which is the up arrow. Place it here, and then the up arrow, and then the down arrow here. Every time you need to do that because uh, this icon is not an R code. So if you save it, it will very likely to return. Uh, uh, it, it would it would tell you that it's not a it, it's not an R code, so you cannot save it. So whenever you open it, it will become three question mark, and then change that to the arrow uh, arrow icon, so that um, uh, my R code is basically reading all the all the icon and then doing. There's some text mining on, on this arrow arrow thing here. Okay. And this measure is also for, for the very last table. So make sure you input all the names uh, correctly. Or you can just copy paste from the PDF report for those three major names over there. Okay. And there's definitely a hundred percent you there will be error in the in the upload file. The reason is that not every measure or every year has data to fill in. So you're very likely to have missing data. So in a PDF report, you're very likely to have a, a, a empty space there. So if you do all the text mining, and then it's very likely that you will have data that is shifting for for the for the text mining project. But you very I think it's just a, a few cases. So make sure you manually correct them. Basically it's just the row shifting. So go to the report, take a look at the report and then open the CSV file and then um, manually correct them to their to the correct position. There will be a hundred percent uh, error in, in your in, in this output. When you run the code, uh, it will generate four files itself and then make sure you open each of them and then manually correct them. And yeah, the data is basic. The reason is basically because there's no data, or there's missing data, or or uh, there's no uh, there's no even uh, no icon, or or even a completely empty empty cell. So that will cause the shifting. So you definitely need to correct them manually. Okay. So the last thing is that before we upload to the SQL Server. Um, uh, open the dashboard and take a look of the naming for the domain, uh, and then I I, I manually uh, change the name for the domain uh, because uh, some domain have a few uh, measure and then some domain have like thirty measure. I just want I just I just make them evenly distributed. So I so even for for the, for the, for the for the domain that has like thirty, I for have a thirty measure. I I, I break down into probably two or three and then by group them I make them I make the measure a domain name into three different related uh, measure names so that I open the dashboard take a look at the domain name and then change them also change them manually so that uh, so that your dashboard will, will be will look nicer to have a fewer um, measure rather than 30, 30 measure or, or more, so that it will it won't be squeezing together. So that's the thing I I, I do I did manually to make the dashboard nicer. Okay. So basically that's everything. So uh, again, change the row number, change the icon, and then um, I'm pretty sure you definitely need to to run this code line by line too because you need to keep checking the row number and then and then each section there's row number. So I'm pretty sure for next year you will need to change all the row number because uh, each PDF report is, has data on the different row number on uh, for P, for each PDF report. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, let me know if you have any question in the in the comment section.